Hey guys, um, I was asked multiple times to do a tutorial and uh, I finally got around to do one. Um, this video is just a quick overview of my process when I'm sculpting ahead. Um, usually I start with a, with a default Dynavax sphere uh, that you can find in the lightbox. Um, for the beginning I leave the Dynamesh settings at default just to so I can concentrate on the big shapes. And once I'm happy with the overall uh, silhouette, I'm increasing the resolution so I can start working on things like the lips or the eyelids. Um, before that, it doesn't make sense to work on the lips because I don't have enough polygons to work with. But don't set the resolution too high because otherwise your model gets a little bit wobbly. Mm. And don't be afraid of your model in the beginning. At this point, for me at least, it looks always kind of creepy. Mm. Here I'm still still working out the major forms and constantly refining the shapes. Here I'm using the zero measure guidelines to get better edge loops around the important areas like the eyes and the mouth. And when I'm doing a model for animation, usually I would do this step by hand just to have better control over the edge loops. Um, now I'm um, dividing my mesh into polygroups just so I can store my masks, masks in there so I don't have to redraw the masks every time I want to work on the upper or lower lip. I'm still tweaking shapes and constantly constantly turning the model around to see if the proportions are right. Um, here I, I'm redoing the, the polygraphs because I accidentally um, erased them. Here I'm working on the eyes, and um, I usually spend a lot of time um, to get clean eyelids because for me it's the most important part of the face, and uh, it's really um, crucial to to have clean clean eyelids. Otherwise, it it uh, makes the model seem less believable. So always make sure to spend a lot of time getting clean shapes around the eyes. So now the major forms are done and it's uh, at this point I start to detail the face. Unfortunately, I didn't press the record button for this part, but uh, so I had to use the forward undo history record option. I think that's what it's called. Um, but let me know what you like more: this this kind of recording or the previous one. And for the details, I put every kind of detail in. Um, in a different layer, so like secondary forms or wrinkles, volume for the wrinkles and stuff like that. So I have more control uh, later in the process to redo stuff. And for a face it's especially important to, to break up the symmetry at least just, just a tiny bit. Um, it, adds, it adds a lot of believability to your model, so always um, break up the symmetry. For my detailing I mainly use the damp standard brush and with a low um, low intensity and the standard brush with the spray option turned on so I can get details like pores or um, bumps on the on the skin. Mm, 
Mm, always try to, to follow the direction of the wrinkles. Like look at some references. That's really important to to know how the wrinkles um, flow. And don't be too too strong with your details. Um, that's something I see a lot in other sculpts that um, like the wrinkles are extremely deep and that's not normally the case except in the faces of older older people. Here I um, duplicated the details layer because I made them too subtle and this is another advantage of putting your stuff in layers so you can increase the intensity later on which is super useful and saves you a lot of time. Um, sometimes I even do a layer for just a specific part of the face, just like in this case the, the lips. And for the overall uh, skin pores, I used the um, noise plugin that you can find in the surface uh, menu. If you have more questions about them, write them in the comments and maybe I will do another tutorial about that. And at this point, it's just adding details like um, pimples or moles little bumpy things on your on the skin and yeah that's more or less it um, i hope you learned something from it and if you want to to do a, to have a tutorial about a spe specific thing uh, let me know in the comments and um, i i'm planning to to do more videos like this in the future so see you next time guys Thanks a lot for watching.